Welcome in everyone to Life Without Limits, where my guests and I want to help you live a fantastic, health-filled life because there truly are no limits to what you can achieve. And I am thrilled today to bring to you my next guest. Martin Batella and I share the same passion for health. He helps on a nutritional basis and I help on an emotional basis. And I myself, I'm going to show you the products that I use that I have found with Martin's business lifeenthusiast.com. It's they're just amazing what they can do for you. And he is an absolute nutritional genius. Oh my goodness. He will share his story with you in just a second. I want to properly introduce Martin. So I am going to find my information here. Okay, coming up here. He is the founder of Life Enthusiast, Life Enthusiast com, a health coach, certified metabolic typing coach, and he has been helping people for over 20 years with their nutrition and with health and wellness. So without further ado, I want to welcome in Martin Patella. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Martin, thank you for joining us today. Hi, Joan. It's a distinct pleasure. You know that I'm Absolutely adore the stuff you do. <laughs> well, I adore what you two, you do also because it is nothing short of miraculous how people can go from being so ill to feeling so vibrant. And the, the nutritional supplements that you suggest Oh my goodness, you must have thousands and thousands of ideas on your website. It's just extraordinary. But <laughs> yes, right. It's been a long haul. I'm, I mean, look at my white hair, right? <laughs> and uh, it's been 40 years since I was uh, loaded up with, uh, with mercury. It was one of the things it does give you is a bit of a um, brain fog. That's what I was reading on your pain manifesto. Tell our listeners and viewers how you started this journey in the first place and just how sick you were. Well, I mean, I grew up in a um, very different world. I grew up in Czechoslovakia, which was back then behind the Iron Curtain. And I grew up in uh, a middle class family. My dad was a veterinarian. So, um, it was all science. We believed in uh, the medical world and pharmaceuticals and all of that. We, we were fully indoctrinated in understanding the world as, as the mainstream would have it. So I trusted professionals. Anyway, uh, I arrived in Canada in 77 and uh, soon thereafter went to a dentist uh, with my newly acquired health insurance. And uh, I, I just went for a checkup, but before I knew it, he took x-rays and explained to me that I was just falling apart and just had to have these mercury fillings added into my molars because without that, I just, it would be just terrible. Had to have it. I, I had no clue that these people were actually businessmen rather than professional caregivers. Like it, it was a sell job. Yes. And you were young, you were naive, you bought into the, okay, he has this education, he knows what's best for me. Uh, yeah, yeah. Good. Diplomas and uh, white coats and stethoscopes. You got it. <laughs> well, I think we've all been there. Yeah. Well, yes. Most yeah. of us have been programmed. Just, yeah, yeah he's, he's the professional. He knows, trust him. Mm-hmm. Yes. I did. I well, believe that so way myself. I, it, I mean, I have the genetics of a mother who's been through the concentration camp, poisoned by mercury and by lead. So we come with the MTHFR mutation, with 
that's that's a uh, lessened ability to detoxify and lessened ability to convert food into energy. It comes with some positive things. We're all very talented. We're linguistically, mathematically, artistically, musically talented people, high achievers. But we can only run for a short distance before we run out of juice. Wow. We have to sit down, lay down, recharge. Anyway, there are lots of us here on the planet. <laughs> you got so sick from these amalgam fillings in your teeth. Yes, I did. And you went for how many years before you started saying, hey, something's going on here that no one is telling me? It's, it's funny, Joan, how it went. Because within the first week, I had herpes breakout on my face, on my lips. Then, then my back went. Then I started getting things like carpal tunnel and uh, plantar fasciitis, which are a breakdown of the connective tissue in the hands and the feet and uh, and more and so yeah I, it wasn't too long into it when I all, all of a sudden lost my back and there I was crawling on all fours from the bed to the toilet I couldn't walk oh and back God. to the bed but I couldn't lay down on my back I had to lay down on my face now how old were you when this happened 25 wow okay. and so then, then it took some time I went to the chiropractor because I had a back problem. And uh, so very skillful, very kind fellow. He adjusted it, put it together. Then I went to an orthopedic surgeon and uh, he injected me with uh, corticosteroids. That was better for six weeks. But when it came back, it came back full force and worse. So I was dependent on the chiropractor. I was going twice a week. And... Uh, I wouldn't last three days. Wow. So, because so everyone was trying to fix you. Yeah. Th yeah. Then I started getting allergies. So I went to the naturopath. Well, first I went to the doctors and they, they said Sudafed. And I said, is that going to cure it? No. No, you're going to be taking Sudafed for the rest of your life. So I went for the naturopathic, uh, you know, dealing with things like, uh, well, what am I allergic to? Am I going to avoid these things? I was allergic to grasses and cats and house dust and, and pollen of this and that. Anyway, so we were chasing the symptoms. Right. That's the whole, that, the, the point of this little tirade is that when you are presenting with symptoms, these professionals are trained to look at the symptom and try and remove the symptom. I have this fun metaphor. I, if you show up with in a doctor's office with, uh, doctor, there's smoke coming into my bedroom. The question you'll get, well, um, do we have fans and we have uh, filters. Why don't we start with a filter? Put, put filter in your window. And then if that doesn't work, we'll put a fan in to blow it back out. I since learned that I should just stick the head out the window and look around to see if my porch is on fire. Okay. Yep. Anyway. And, and here comes the important part. About 10 years in, I realized that a lot of what I was getting, the symptoms, had a lot to do with my emotional makeup. Okay. I discovered uh, educational kinesiology, educ, yes. and I was going to uh, people who were muscle testing and providing me with these ideas such as, uh, well, I had daddy issues and mommy issues and uh, personal self-worth issues and this and that, and we were working through that, and as we were peeling this onion, I was getting better. I would say this, I think 80% of the physical problems that I was having had to do with an emotional problem, not a physical. Thank you. Yes. Which is why anytime someone comes in and says, the doctor put me on this antidepressant and that anti-anxiety pill, 
And I said, well, I'm glad that it seems to be helping a little bit, but I'm going to help you find the root cause of this. And then you can work with your doctor to get off of this stuff because this is not meant to be for the rest of your life. This is only a life preserver while you're learning how to swim. And I'm going to teach you how to swim. Yes, yes. That's, that's the exact thing that I tell people. I can help you with nutrition and you absolutely have to fix your nutrition because if you're going to be consuming negative inputs, you're going to make yourself worse. You need to be consuming positive inputs. The other part is the toxic burden. That's stuff that's already on board that should not be. We need to get rid of all that. So that's, that's, that's my four, right? Um, Toxicity, malnutrition, stagnation, and trauma. Whoa. Yes. So the trauma, that's the emotional trouble. Yes. That's stored that's stored below the level of consciousness, beyond the reach of your, I will get better, positive. I am <laughs> totally outside of that. Well, and there's also the unconscious saboteur that yes. keeps people yeah. from doing healthy things. Right, yeah, the, the inner program. The inner program. But you have risen above that. If you had any unconscious saboteurs, they're way gone right now. Um, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Look at my gray hair. I should be still looking 29. Well, hey. I think you're doing great for where you are right now. So I color my hair. So this is this is my hair. But if I didn't have this color on my head, I would look more like you. So right. Okay. No worries. <laughs> so yeah, you're right. The uh, the inner programming. I certainly work on it every day, knowing full well that any improvement travels on the vibration of gratitude, acceptance. Yes. You can't fight your way out of the hole. You have to love your way into an uplift. You know what I would be interested in? And I'm going to share a screen as soon as I find this. I want to talk about your, is it the pain manifesto? Is that what you yeah. call it? Yeah, the I think about, I think I would call it chronic pain manifesto. Okay. I'm yeah, you know, 20 years in and two years of work, we have created an online course. And to introduce that online course, I went and I conceived and put together a report with the help of my two, three collaborators. Uh, I have some wonderful people who work with me. Yes, I'm going to take people up here right now. So the Chronic Pain Manifesto, and I apologize, I don't know the pronunciation of the second person. It's Martin Patella, Nina. Yeah, we'll stick with that. And Suzanne and Scott. And then as we scroll down here, Restoring Vitality to You and the Planet, and that is definitely Martin's philosophy. Well, this graph right here is unbelievable because not only did Martin yeah. produce a graph, but every time you float your mouse cursor over this, it has a link. It's just the detail yeah. of this is... Well, it lets you see it actually enlarged. But the point of this graphic is this. You are having to manage all this in order to manage health. And uh, so I stuck in everything here that's that you have to be concerned about. I wanted to illustrate just how overwhelming it can be. Yes. When I looked at that graph, I got overwhelmed. So I can't imagine that's what we're, but it's true. That's what we're all dealing with. And that's what leads to chronic pain. So I'm just going to scroll down here because Martin shares his experience of getting all those amalgams in his teeth. Um, I recently talked with my dentist and I said, now I don't have any more amalgams in here, right? I'm completely clean of all that stuff because, you know, back when the dinosaurs were on the earth, that's what dentists did. And my whole mouth was filled with amalgams. Yeah. So 
heaven only knows. And what is it that you're scrolling for? Here we go. So. Oh, this is the end of the report where if you, uh, well, you, you hopefully will post a link to this report. So people oh, I definitely follow. will. And so if they click through on here, you would be getting into Udemy where we have uh, posted a, f a course. And that course is uh, your guide to health where we explain causes, consequences, um, solutions to dealing with chronic pain. I'm trying to pull it up right yeah, it now. Says that Amazon is not responding for reasons I don't understand. Well, that's okay. It definitely comes up because I'm going to put a link to everything in the iTunes description so everyone will be able to see this. But I just think this is so important. And this, okay, we're going to cancel this. Um, this was, what, four hours long. There's so... Oh, Okay, Life Enthusiast. Okay, you're, you're looking at the Life Enthusiast website where uh, I'm currently away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to bring this up, this website, because what's really cool yeah, is... Could you click on that green thing and just put it away? Oh, yes. I am so sorry. Oh, just... no, it's the top, top right corner of that green thing where it says away. There we go. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> now you're back. You were away and now you're back. Oh, right. Oh, this website is absolutely amazing. I am going to stop sharing for the moment here and come back to us because I just want to share a couple of things with our listeners and viewers. And this is so cool. I got this from you. It's called the gift. So I'm just going to put this up to the camera, but it is so cool because it has, tell everybody what's inside of here, Martin. I don't even know, but. Uh, John, is it possible that only my face is currently recording rather than yours? Because yeah. the way it looks on my side is that uh, we're showing me rather than you. Okay, all righty, let's get back to me here. Here we go. Yeah, there we go, okay. Oh, okay, now <laughs> I talk, it switches back to me. And okay, you're the star of the show, stay there. Okay. Right. So the gift, the gift inside of it is a mineral called Ormus, okay. which is a uh, form of transplatinum group metals, gold, rhodium, iridium, osmium, ruthenium, a few from that group. And they exist in a form other than metallic, like, you know, gold well as your, as a pliable yellow colored metal but it also exists in a glassy form. Okay. I'll give you an analogy. Like if you took uh, carbon, which exists as charcoal, as black soot type of thing, but it also exists as diamonds, glass-like see-through item. Gold can also exist in this alternative form. It looks a lot like glass, but anyway, it can also be in liquid form. And in that liquid form, it serves as a memory device. It yeah. remembers things. And you can very well and uh, reliably store by vibrational programming in it. Mm. Somewhat similar to how homeopathy works. Mm -hmm. But we can install not just a memory of bee venom or, or I don't know, digitalis or something like that, we can actually install a full emotional program in it. And in the case of the gift, this was put together by Farrell Brenner, who has been a behavioral psychologist and a scientist for years. And he did a lot of work with people in addictions. And he installed into this the emotional and mental and physical vibration of a person who has got their act together. Wow. He says, well, at the end of seven years with me, you will have had your addictions cleared and you'll be all fine and all that. And when I take, when you take a drop of that, mm -hmm. 
You can either put it in under your tongue or you can put it right here on the- What I show everyone is come back, stay there. So if I just take a drop and put a couple drops on my heart chakra and what the heck, I'm gonna put a drop on top of my head. And then what's really fun is you can feel it dripping down through the middle of your body through all your chakras. It's so much fun. I love doing that on occasion and then just yeah. seeing what happens afterwards. And step two, there needs to be a verbal statement, a commitment. The one we recommend the most is, I love myself. I love myself and I'm here to- That, that was a question. Okay. Say it as a statement. Well, I love myself. There we go. And I'm here to serve the world. <laughs> right on. Woo. And, and that's how we find with people is that when they first say it, they say it as with hesitation. Their, their voice will catch. Their, uh, they, they, they will give us a indication of, mm, uh, yeah, I love myself. Not, not a chance without unconditional. There's always condition, or not always, but frequently, conditionals. Oh, you know what? I'm going to start using this more with my clients too. Sure. Yeah, you can. You can uh, if, if they're face with face to face with you, or they can get it from us, right? Right, right, right. Absolutely. Go to life-enthusiast.com. It's one it. of the many wonderful <laughs> things. I find, like for for me, the first bottle of the gift I used up in about thirty days. Oh. <laughs> Okay. The second bottle I used up in about a year. Okay. And the third bottle is now six years old and I'm maybe halfway through it. Whoa. I only need it when something significant goes down. Okay. Next. That's good to know. Next time Mercury goes in retrograde, I'll definitely drop some on me. <laughs> this one has been pretty intense and it's still not over yet, is it? No. No, it's over. It ended on December 31st. All right. Well, I'm still seeing echoes of it. Echoes of it, but we're supposed to be safe until the end of March, around March 22nd. So we can all take a breath and relax now, even though it's cold in North America and we're all freezing. Yeah. We can take a breath. At least Mercury is out of retrograde. Right. Okay. So anyway, to finish on the gift. Yes. So you take the gift, one drop, and it gives you about four hours of much improved emotional well-being you are going to be acting as though you had your acts together because the vibration of having it together is now within you wow all right i'm going to take this home and have my husband take a bath in it <laughs> you know funny thing people have been putting it into baths with babies and oh, wow. uh, other things yeah cool. it, it'll work I love it. I love it. Now, this is the other thing that oh, I want to share with everybody. Yeah. Oh, the premium. Excellent premium. Oh, I did a muscle test on this, by the way, because when I get your newsletter, whenever I get that, then what I do is I go, okay, this is helpful for me. And when I tested this, I use the sway method. I mean, I hit the floor. So I <laughs> ordered it immediately. You mean it pulled you with full it force? It pulled me with such force that I went, whoa, and I went way down using the sway method. So I said, okay, I need to get this right now. Order it, bang. And yeah. I use, um, right now I'm only using, say, half a teaspoonful a day. Mm -hmm. But one thing I know is that I don't have to feel guilty about not getting all of my vegetables because then when I take this, then I know that I'm pretty covered when I take the Excel. Yeah. yeah. You know what's interesting about it, right? Is the quality of it. Mm -hmm. um, people oftentimes don't understand because on the label, when you say alfalfa, which is in this, when you say alfalfa, on the label, it doesn't know the vibrational or the inter in integrity or whatever else qualities of what you got. Like alfalfa, you can just go to any hay field and cut down some alfalfa hay. What we get is we get organically grown, non-GMO um, alfalfa leaf juice. Mm -hmm. So first we strip only the leaves, not the stems, and then we juice them and then we get them dried 
using the uh, radiant spot method. So it actually preserves all of its vibrational intensity and integrity. And that's just one of the 300 ingredients that go into this. Oh my gosh. So the point is that there are differences, subtle differences with each of the components that go into this. Mm -hmm. And it all adds up. And it's not just simple addition, it's multiplica multiplication. So that's why you're saying, I'm only taking half a teaspoon of it. Well, that's because it's intense, because it has vibrational intensity, integrity, and it can do a lot of good. Oh, wow. Martin, you have worked with so many people with chronic illnesses. Mm -hmm. You have, I want to talk about your Facebook page for fibromyalgia. Oh, the group. How many, yes. how many people participate on that page now? 40, uh, it's 45 to 50,000. I, I haven't looked in lately. I have handed it over to the moderators. Um, you know, it's, it's a really interesting thing. I originally conceived of it as a means of helping people find a solution. Mm -hmm. And we called it fibromyalgia support group. Well, what we find out is that this is a hangout for people who want to cry out about how badly they feel. Yeah. And uh, majority of them are only wanting to vent. They're not even interested in getting different, better solutions. Like that's, that's been the biggest frustration of my engagement with this is that um, so many people just want to wallow in their discomfort. Okay. Well, let's go for what the one or 2% that are actually interested in yeah. finding solutions. Indeed. And those are the people that you created this page for those are the people who are listening you have fantastic information on that facebook page for anyone who is really interested in being active in finding solutions mm -hmm. so just don't yeah. go to the negative part where people are in pain and they're stuck in their story and they're going over and over again. I really respect everyone who is miserable, physically, psychologically, emotionally. I really respect that and honor that. I don't want to dismiss that at all. But what I'm saying is don't focus on the negative part or people's sadness so much as look at the solutions that mm -hmm. Martin and his team and Scott offer for yes. getting out of pain. Well, this chronic pain manifesto that we showed a little while ago is my attempt at outlining to people what is going on in their lives and helping them understand that they have been set up by the system to be trapped in this endless loop of treatment, not getting better, just feeling better, but not getting better. And the pharmaceutical industry loves a long-term customer. So when you get on a painkiller, they want you to stay on the painkiller. Mm -hmm. They don't really want to heal you. Mm -hmm. Correct. Great. I'm seeing so many people. Now, many of my clients, um, I'm seeing someone tomorrow, actually, who has an insurance that I do not accept. They want to learn about some other solutions, some other possibilities. They know that I'm a holistic counselor, so they're going to be paying me out of pocket. But sadly, most insurance just wants to pay to keep the system going and keep the pills going. And I always tell folks, one thing I look at is my office is above a doctor's office. Another motivation for me is watching the elderly patients go through the door with their oxygen, with their walkers, with assistance from others. And I'm thinking, <clears throat> I'm thinking they're not getting well. They're just going in for more pills. That yep. is not going to be my life. Yeah, well, the typical experience at the hands of the mainstream uh, medical model is that you're like this, you have a symptom, you get a little worse, then you feel nothing, then you get a little worse, and then you're below ground. 
and uh, that's that's the model. They they expect you to get worse. Yes, that they tell you that there's no cure for this. They tell you that there's no solution for this. That you have to learn to live with this, and that's not true. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, that is not true. Now, if I have a broken leg, yes, I want to go to an orthopedic surgeon. If I have something wrong with or go, well, I hypothetically, if I have something wrong with my gallbladder or my appendix, yes, I want a skilled surgeon to help me with that or give me some medicine to help it grow stronger for a while. But if I exercise, if as I exercise, as I take the premium is it called Exola? Yes. Exola. As I take the pre Exola, as I watch what I eat and not consume high amounts of sugar and fat and salt, I'm going to support my body so that I'm not going to disease. I'm staying in wellness and thriving. And that's what Martin teaches in his newsletters and with Life Enthusiast, how to thrive and how to stay healthy. I mean, he's a the man was crawling on his hands and legs like a baby to get to the bathroom. I think something worked. <laughs> well, that's the point, right? Like it took a while, and and it took me having to give up on my programming. I mean, I was just like the people that I'm saying they are not getting it. I was not getting it. I mean, it took me several years to finally run out of patience or faith in the system. I mean, there came the moment when it was like, but these people are not helping me. They are just stuck in the tactical thinking, opportunistic, addressing the symptoms, but never addressing their cause. Okay. And you use the words root cause resolution. That's, that's what we're after. And yeah. that, was, that was the me saying, stick your head out the window. I want to mention to everyone, too, that you don't have to make major, humongous changes in your lifestyle all at once. Start with something small and then keep building on it because you can't do that. It's like trying to eat an elephant all at one meal. For vegetarians, I apologize. Just start out with something easy. Start out, start out by drinking more water. Start out by drinking, and by the way, Martin's Prills, P-R-I-L-L-S, are to die for because I use the Prill water every day, and I love it. It's very energizing, but I digress. But just start out with... No, no, this was important. You see, you just you just hit on the quality issue. Like when, when we say drink more water, true, but not chlorinated water because that's going to kill off the bacteria in your uh, digestive system. So definitely not chlorinated, but also it should be energetically repaired because the water that comes through the pipes is just essentially dead water. And we need to restore the energetics of living water. And that's what these prills do. Mm -hmm. And so all of a sudden, water and water, again, the label, right? We say water, we say water. Well, it's not the same thing. Yes. Here's my pearl water, everybody, in my 32 ounce thing. And I drink two of these every day. So, woohoo. There you go. So, anyway, you were saying about doing the right things. And they, are, they don't have to be that many. The air has to be free of toxins. The water has to be free of toxins and has to be energetically right. The food has to be free of toxins in the right ratios that match your genetics. There are genetic differences. Some of us had ancestors who were mostly hunters who ate a lot of meat because they lived in cold climates where vegetables were not easily accessible. Whereas others were not. Like if your ancestry is North African, they lived on dates, figs, pomegranates, and camel milk. Clearly, you can handle a lot of carbohydrates. Yeah. But if your granny is Norwegian and you have those genetics, you'd be prepared to eat a lot of salmon and reindeer. Well, I don't have any reindeer at my local market, but I eat a lot of salmon and I take two tablespoons of fish oil every morning. I love seafood. I love fish. Martin taught me that because my heritage is Swedish. So anything I get from the sea, kelp, 
fish oil, it's all working. It's you're feeling energetically improved, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's so nice. Uh Martin. Okay, so that's that. And then we didn't touch on um, movement. Stagnation is a terrible thing. Yes. The lymphatic system doesn't have its own pump. The fluids only move when you move against gravity. So walking as you go step, 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 step. Each one of these represents a little bounce. And these bounces move the fluids about an inch up through these tiny channels that run from the bottom of your feet all the way up to here. And up here, some clavicle um, right there is where the lymphatic system spills over like Niagara Falls into the bloodstream. And so if you don't move, you stagnate. And when you stagnate, think of a swamp. That's a good example of stagnated fluids. Yeah. <laughs> well, as the world is finding out more every day, I definitely move <laughs> with my exercise. I'm definitely moving. Oh, Wonderful. And I, <laughs> I, I bet that after the exercise, you feel so much better, like emotionally, physically, mentally, all things, right? Like, I mean, I get off my rebounder and I'm filled with joy Oh, because I'm oxygenating. First, I'm proud of myself for getting there at sub-zero temperatures and doing the workout. Okay. And then, yes, I feel energized. I feel more peaceful. I feel more organized in my head as to what I'm going to do. So I have it in my schedule, Wednesdays and Fridays. I get to the gym at eight o'clock and I do my thing. And then Sundays, Mondays, I'm going to try and add a fifth day, but I go in and I do spinning. <sighs> I've learned that sweat is a wonderful thing. Yeah. Well, let me say this. I'm no fan of spinning. Okay. I'm no fan of aerobic, uh, long, whatever, especially because I don't have the genetics for it. Okay. So for some people, interval training is way better, where you do short yes. bursts of high intensity. As far as sweating, there are other ways to do it. You can, for example, uh, get into a sauna, or you can get yourself on one of these electric blankets. We recommend the Biomat, and you can just bake yourself on that. Okay. okay. And you can sweat plenty. That's true. Good Sweating point. is good, but you don't have to work that hard for it if, if you have other options. Yes. Martin, I'm going to post everything in the description, but how can people contact you? Well, we have the link to the um, uh, Chronic Pain Manifesto. The website that we work from is called Life Enthusiast. That's life dash enthusiast dot com there's a phone number there it's 866-543-3388 and um, that's, that's perfect all that we need. martin really does answer the phone because i have called him several times and he has picked up the phone so it's not like you're going to be calling some call center out in the middle of nowhere that no one understands what you're talking about he is available to you personally I don't want to over advertise that one because we are getting about to the limit at them at this time. Oh, oh well, <laughs> <laughs> call him today <laughs> because it might be over soon of the phone number, not Martin, not life enthusiast. The phone number may change or he may have some helpers with him. That's it. Martin, you have been so generous with your time today and the information is gold. Thank Great. You so much yeah doing this show thank you joan I, in closing i'd like to say this you need to understand that everybody needs to be customized the principles are shared the specifics vary from person to person there's no way that you can just say well monica over here took vitamin b12 and it helped her so that's what i'm going to do Okay. It's not like that. Not everybody has vitamin B12 deficiency or whatever the one thing is. Excellent point. So yes. when you talk to a health coach, if they know their stuff, they'll guide you to your specific requirements. And that's what we do here.
Amen. I always tell people, go get some blood work done so we can look at your vitamin D levels, so we can check out your thyroid. But that's more, but absolutely right. Everything, nutrition needs to be customized to the individual and their specific needs and metabolism. And with those parting words, I'm going to say goodbye to our audience. Thank you for listening. If there is anything that you have found interesting in this podcast, please make a note of it in iTunes. Please subscribe, tell others about this show. And I thank you so much for listening and watching. Bye from Life Without Limits.